the right mood for the festive season. No. So, welcome. Thank you everyone for being here for our demo day of our actual sixth batch of the ProSieben Sat1 Accelerator. Ralf Schremper, who was supposed to be here, uh, sends his apologies because he had to go to London for an uh, urgent negotiation. Uh, but uh, he will maybe join us live on Periscope as a uh, lot of others. So um, hello to Periscope users. Um, just a brief overview of what's going to happen now. Stefan and I uh, will give a little bit of an overview of what we have achieved with the accelerator, what the current setup is like, so that you know what the, what the actual changes of the programs are. And then we will give the stage to the startups so that they can present because it's their day to day. They have been working hard for the past three months on their products, on, the, on their services, um, some harder than others. No. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, it's their day-to-day, -day, so pay attention to what they're saying and then you will have the opportunity to talk to them after their presentations. You can also try some of their products and services, so be excited for what's going to happen after the presentation. So the ProSiebenSat1 Accelerator was started in 2013, so quite some time ago. And uh, we were very, you know, ahead of competition when we started the accelerator, but um, with the program as we had it back in the day with the, you know, 25,000 euro cash investment, we basically did something that nowadays a lot of other uh, accelerators are doing as well. So therefore we decided that we are uh, we want to change the program and we will talk about that in a little bit of time But I would like to show you what we have achieved since 2013 uh, uh, with our program We have had uh, Startups such as Tinkerbots uh, a robotics toy system And I will show you a little video now so that you can actually see what they have achieved what they have built and most importantly, you can buy it now, so it's a very good present for Christmas if you have, you know, nephews, sons, daughters that are interested in playing with uh, robotics toys, or if you want to get a good excuse for buying something for yourself. So let's take a quick look at what they have built. This is Tinkerbots. The red cube is the power brain. It provides the energy and contains an Arduino-compatible microcontroller. It comes alongside a range of other different kinetic modules like the twister, the pivot, the motor module and the grabber. Plus there's a whole bunch of small passive building blocks which can add more detail to your robots. You can even use Lego bricks to add more detail if you want. All of Tinkerbox modular pieces can be connected easily. Without the need for wiring or programming, it's extremely simple and easy to use. Even a five-year-old can use Tinkerbots to build any robot he or she can imagine. And because it's essentially a building set, your child can create an endless number of toys to play with. They can build this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Controlling your robots is as easy as it is to build them. The integrated record and play mode lets you teach your robot what to do and to bring it to life. Just take the robot in your hands, press record, move it in the way you want it to move, and when you hit the play button, the toy will repeat exactly what you just taught it. For more advanced robots, you can use the Tinkerbots app on your tablet or smartphone as a remote control. With Tinkerbots, you're not just purchasing a single robot, you're getting the ability to build any type of robot toy that you and your child can imagine. All the while having fun and learning. Yeah, so that's an example for what we have um, what we have had in the past, so that actually the startups are even developing further uh, down the road when they uh, graduate from the program because they uh, Tinkerbots was actually in our first or second batch. 
Another uh, startup that you might know is Cashboard. It's an investment platform for your personal finances. Um, they have started their first TV campaign a couple of months ago, are very successful with what they have achieved so far. Another product uh, and company that we have invested uh, in early on and that is doing well. So the companies that we've had in our previous batches were very successful, but now uh, we would like to give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of detail of what we have achieved in total. We have invested in 35 companies. We have secured millions in follow-on funding. We have 150 plus mentors, and we accept less than 2% of the applications into the program. So we are very selective, and uh, it's very important that we ensure that the quality of the startups that we take into the program is high, so that we can help them best, and that we see success and traction when they graduate from the program. And that is also proven, and you'll see that uh, later in uh, some of the presentations, our startups tend to win uh, a lot of awards, um, which makes us very proud and is a good indicator that they are doing something right. So this is our portfolio overview, very colorful. I won't go uh, through all the companies in detail. Um, check it out, take a picture, and then afterwards, uh, um, take a look at all of the websites and see what they're doing. So uh, very, very uh, great variety of companies. And uh, the companies on your right-hand side are the ones that you will see in more detail in a couple of minutes. So what's the new offering like that I talked about earlier? We invest, we're the only accelerator actually worldwide that invests TV media uh, in early stage startups. So we give half a million euros worth of TV advertising to the startups that they can use on our free TV channels. So Pro7, Sat1, Kabel1, 6, Pro7 Max, and uh, which one did I miss? Sat1 Gold. So uh, all these uh, channels are available for them and they can run their TV spots on the channels. We will help them to produce the spots as well, do the media planning for them so that it's optimized and they uh, can reach as many people as possible. In addition, we give 25,000 cash, so we keep that cash investment that they can use for production, uh, for uh, creative parts and creative work, so that they can test TV without spending any cash that they, uh, that they have to bring up themselves. We also, of course, have great mentors, and thanks to the mentors that we work with that are here today, uh, that help us coach the startups and get them to where they are today. And new is also that we are doing this in Berlin. Uh, up until now, we did it in Munich, but now we move to Berlin uh, alongside uh, a lot of other Prosieben Sat1 companies that are located in this building. Um, and we are greatly uh, benefiting from the ecosystem here in Berlin and the proximity to a lot of investors and uh, coaches that are based here in the capital. Also important is that we don't take direct equity anymore, but we structure our investment through a convertible note, which gives us greater flexibility in terms of maturity of the startups, and you will see that later on. Uh, a lot of them are generating uh, substantial revenues, uh, which gives us, uh, and we have the possibility to invest in them now through this convertible note structure, uh, so that we don't have the negotiation around valuation before we take them into the program, because that wouldn't be manageable uh, in the short duration uh, between application selection and then the start of the program. So summing it up is we help startups get on TV. This is what it's all about. If you want to reach a mass market, uh, you should work with the ProSiebenSat1 Accelerator because it's the best way to get in front of a lot of people that watch TV and uh, yeah, get to know the brand and the product that you're building. And with this, I'll hand over to Stefan. Thank you, Jens, and also a very warm welcome from, from my end. Um, what does this mean? What does TV mean in the end? And being part of the Prosim Z1 Accelerator program, um, TV, on the w most importantly, it means reach. And um, by advertising on our channels and being present on our channels, it basically uh, enables you to reach an audience of 42 million households in Germany alone. So therefore, it's a real asset test on your product. And uh, this is really the only way you can achieve to uh, such a large audience at one go. Um, Secondly, TV 
means branding because TV is the number one media when you want to build a branded product and to build also consumer trust. And by, um, by marketing on all channels, um, you will be able to, um, to achieve 44% of the German TV advertising market. So therefore, if you want to be present on TV, if you want to try it out, this is a place to be. But being part of the Presume Set 1 Accelerator program does not only mean reach externally, it also means reach internally. So therefore, if you participate in the program, you will obviously also get the chance to network with our own portfolio companies. And this networking and cooperation with them can be, on the one hand, can be operationally, ca they can be your sparing partner, they, they can help you um, and you can talk to them on an operational level, but it might also mean a strategic partnership with them, like many of our startups have also now done, that you work on a distribution partnership, a marketing partnership, and so on. And in the end, these are businesses which are not only active in Germany, but they're actually active globally. So they can, they, they can be a massive distribution partner and um, marketing multiplier for you. Naturally, if you want to be on TV and um, if you want to, well, uh, market on TV, it means most naturally that you will have to target um, uh, consumers because this uh, is in the end the target group which you will, which you will achieve. And um, so therefore, with regards to uh, participants in the Presume Set 1 Accelerator program, we mainly look for B2C companies and you need to have a B2C product and our core sectors and verticals are e-commerce, entertainment, health, and fintech. So this is the areas what we're looking for. So in case you or you know someone who would like to apply, this is in the end um, the, the areas which we are looking for businesses. Apart from that, the applicants uh, also need to fulfill a couple of other features. So they need to have sufficient traction and they actually need to have a product which is able to scale on TV because the moment you air uh, TV advertising spots, you actually reach 42 million households. So you need to be ready for that. And so you need to have your beta version behind. As a result of that, naturally, you also need to have uh, initial revenues uh, generated from your business. And last but not least, in the end, obviously your product needs to have a mass market fit. So a really niche product doesn't work very well with TV and so therefore it's not the best fit for the accelerator program. Apart from um, the marketing component, apart from working with Presume Set 1, as part of the um, program you will also get the chance to work with our um, VC network. So we have a network of uh, venture capitalists who participate in the selection process. So they work with us side by side in, in terms of selecting the, the right um, companies for the accelerator program. But they also do mentoring as part of the program. So therefore, you get actually a chance to, um, to speak to top tier VCs as part of the program. And so therefore, in the end, you get the best of both worlds. You have the benefit of working with a strategic player who can help you in marketing and have can help you building a spot, can help you doing the right analytics with it, can help you with the access to its own network. But you also get the benefits of working with a, with a financial uh, sponsor and a professional financial investor who will help you also with follow-on financing. So application phase is happening actually now. So today is the last program, is the last day of the program for, uh, for, for, for this year. The next um, batch will start next year in March and applications will be open until January. So if you have someone, if you know someone who wants to apply, um, apply via our website. And yeah, we're looking forward to be in touch. We are obviously also available on other media. Thank you very much. Great. <laughs> so, and with this basically uh, we end but uh, the startups begin. Um, and so the first company that is gonna present today is actually a product that I used when I was on vacation. And I uh, read about their application and uh, it's, around it's about insurances and how to manage them basically uh, in a more productive and smart way. And I was trying, I was giving them a shot and said, yeah, now I'm sitting here relaxing at the pool. So if this works now when I'm on vacation, uh, then they have a great chance of making it into the program. And it actually worked and it surprised me. And I constantly said that it only took me two minutes to sign up with all my insurances. So that was super impressive. So please uh, give a warm welcome to Christopher of Clark.
Yes, uh, thank you Jens for the introduction. Uh, my name is Christopher and I'm here to introduce Clark to you. And um, as Jens already said, we are a platform where people can buy new insurances, but they can also manage their existing portfolio with us and we help them optimize all of their insurances. But um, let's take a, take a step back. When we founded the company in April, um, many people asked us, Christopher, why for God's sake, why do you go in insurance? And um, the answer is actually very easy. First, it's a massive market. The insurance market in Germany is actually 20 times larger than the smartphone market and 4.5 times larger than the, um, than the um, e-commerce market in total. Why is that? Because Germans spend only on rent and on mortgages more than they do on insurances. So we have a massive, massive opportunity here in the first place and only 5% of this business is happening online today. Whereas the rest, how do 95% of Germans buy their insurances? They do it at home. So it actually happens that people, 250,000 insurance brokers, are still offline in Germany. They visit people at home and people sign contracts literally at home. And with this process, only very few customers are actually happy. Satisfaction is one of the lowest in all industries you can imagine, 33% rate that they have a positive experience. So if you put all of this together, a massive market, 95% offline, and extremely low customer satisfaction, and exactly this is why we decided to do insurance. So now that I have your attention, I want to um, explain a bit what we do exactly and how we do things. So we have built a w the go-to platform for digital natives where they can handle and solve all of their insurance matters and questions. What does it mean precisely? Firstly, we organize insurances. So we give our customers an overview of what kind of insurances they actually have and how much they pay for them. And more so, we give them all details about their contracts that are relevant. For example, the contract number, the start date, the end date. We give an expert statement and we tell the customer what we think about the contract and whether they are able to save money with it or not or whether they have a bad coverage maybe for the price that they have. We show them their policy, so the PDF document that you usually have in an offline folder somewhere at home, we digitalized it. We show them some stats about how many of Germans have that insurance, how much they pay, how much you pay, so you may be paying too much. And we put all of this in an app and in a web application. And also you can contact us, of course, if in case you have a damage or need assistance in whatever situation. Now that we have all this data around the contract online, there are multiple ways how we can use this. The first way is it's very easy for us to help customers save money. Insurance contracts are a little bit like a mobile phone contract. Imagine you wouldn't have switched your mobile phone contract or updated it over the last five years then for sure you would be paying too much today. And the same is a bit with insurances. So we have in the first place, we have digitalized all the information about the contract and what we can do now is, we can show the customers recent contracts that are now available on the market that offer exactly the same coverage as you can see here on the right and they can switch over with just one click and on average save 40% with all of their insurances. And lastly, we had a look at our target group, the digital natives, and we found out that they spend two and a half to three hours per day on WhatsApp. So our customer support is not an offline support or telephone support. We have built a chat model, how we interact with the customer and increase the touch points. And this is for us the first step into a robo-advisory solution actually, because we have automated already more than 100 conversations and have a robot that is responding to the customer in case he has questions or if we want to trigger some interaction with the customer. The best thing about all of this is, as Jens already said in his introduction, it's just two minutes to sign up. So every one of you could sign up until the end of this presentation easily. Um, and what we need from you is, we need your name. We need you to select the insurance companies where you are insured today. And we need you to sign on your touch screen, on your laptop, or wherever you are at the moment. And what we do then is we go with these three pieces of information, we go to your insurance company and say, look, Christopher's our new customer. We now need all information about his contracts and we give you all of the stuff that you've seen before. Everything that we do is free 
for the customer. So we are not paid by the customer, but we are paid by the insurance companies. How does this work? In each contract that you have, let's take a car policy, for example, a car insurance contract, you pay a certain amount to the insurance company, and in this amount, the insurance company has already reserved a block for the broker that has sold you the contract. And we tap into this relationship, and with the signature, you mandate us as your broker, and we get paid from the insurance company, and your price of the policy doesn't change at all. And unit economics are great. Um, we earn per customer 450 to 500 euros lifetime value. Of course, we have acquisition costs and we have costs to um, advise the customer, but still there's a decent unit economic profit per customer. Who's doing all this? Um, it's myself. I've uh, started my career in um, consulting for financial institutions um, and then 2011 co-founded with some friends uh, Vimdu. It's Stefan Glomp who's responsible for the technical side. He has 15 years in building tech startups. Um, has actually done everything from small companies where he coded himself to managing large, large teams of, the, um, uh, of developers of 180 across multiple locations. And for the insurance know-how, we have Marco Adelt, who was a broker himself. So he was a guy that was in your living room himself and advised customers. Um, and then for nine years was a consultant with Harvard and Partner and advised insurance, com uh, insurance companies and brokers on how to optimize their processes. What's next for us is um, the TV spot. So with the help of ProSieben, obviously, in January we'll air our first TV campaign um, and in March we'll be looking for further funding. And uh, to close this presentation, I would like to show you our TV spot, which will come in January. Versicherung. Lange nicht drum gekümmert, hm? Dann zahlst du zu viel. Ich habe mit dem Versicherungscheck von Clark 600 Euro gespart. Wähle einfach deine bestehenden Versicherungen aus und beauftrage Clark. Erledigt. Clark zeigt dir, ob deine Verträge zu teuer sind. Fang auch du an zu sparen. Ohne Verpflichtung und kostenlos auf Clark.de. Probier's aus. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, the next startup is a great case of you have a you have someone who actually says yeah, I have an I idea. Why don't you sell subscription boxes of food to people? And then you say, yeah, I don't believe it. I don't think it can work. You know, I've, I've seen this before and all these things don't work. Great idea, but dismissed. Yeah, but it's a whole different story if someone comes to you and that is the case with the next startups and says, yeah, we did that and we already have 14,000 customers that monthly, month after month, su subscribe to our service and are super happy and uh, you know keep buying the products. And then you get super convinced and excited and I strongly encourage you to do that after the presentation once you try the products that they put in their uh, boxes because they are awesome and they are products that you wouldn't find anywhere else. So please give a warm welcome to Ole and Alex of Foodist. Yes, thank you very much, Jens. All right, how many people in this room um, know Innocent Smoothies? Hands up. All right, nearly 90%. They have uh, th uh, 300,000, uh, 300 million revenue uh, in the last year, uh, only in Europe. How many people know Vita Coco? It's a coconut water. Hands up again, please. All right, only, oh my God, approximately 10%, I think. But yeah, uh, they do a great job. Uh, they have uh, 400 million revenue uh, worldwide um, in the last year. So I think you are familiar with cattle ships, right? Uh, they have been sold uh, in 2010 for 600 million euro. And now uh, I would like to present you uh, to other products. Who is familiar with Manomasa to Tia, Chris? Okay, one, one guy <laughs> in the last row. And who's familiar? Who's familiar with proper corn? It's low fat, low carb popcorn. Okay, and this makes the difference because we know these brands very well and they are the fastest growing snack brands in the UK. And this is our mission. 
we are the first in identifying new products that have the potential to disrupt other products in their category and we capitalize on them to the maximum. So and this is our team. It's highlight, uh, it's hard to highlight um, yeah, one of them because they are all great. In total we have uh, 30 employees. But for example, we hired uh, Christoph, uh, our CFO. Uh, he is a former uh, CFO of HelloFresh and now working for us. <laughs> yeah, it's a fact. And <laughs> um, we started Food as years ago with a um, gourmet subscription box. And uh, in the last year, uh, we add a healthy subscription box to it. And we select products in Europe that are not available in Germany. And um, yeah, uh, we discovered the need that uh, people want to discover new food, get excited about it, and stuff like that. And we do a pretty good job. We are the market leader in Europe in this area. We have 14,000 uh, monthly subscribers, as um, Yes has already told. And uh, we are working with well, um, yeah, promising unit economics. We spent 30, yeah, do a picture, please. <laughs> We spent uh, 30 euros to acquire a new customer. This um, subscriber stays um, 10 months um, and yeah, well we generate uh, over 7 euro um, contribution margin per box. So uh, as a result, uh, we have uh, over 6 euro profit with, uh, with uh, each customer. And uh, for the future, we think there's great potential to um, increase our subscription base so in Germany but we have to add um, yeah more subscriptions so uh, we think about uh, internationalization and strongly believe in the countries of Netherlands or Benelux uh, we're starting in Netherlands and uh, Scandinavia yes so why did we show you innocent at the beginning or Manu Masa um, pretty simple uh, what we saw uh, that we had some great uh, products that really could disrupt the market, but um, they didn't have any distribution in Germany. So what did we do? We built our own distribution, and for example, this is uh, our own design. Um, so Manu Martha, as you saw before, is now in over uh, 450 supermarkets in Germany and constantly growing. I think we will add another 100 per month and then have a strong growth um, in March, in February, because most of the big chains, as you can see them on the next slide. Oh no, no. Um, so this is uh, where we started. We started in Hamburg, where we are based. But right now, we are all over Germany, so in every big city, you can get our products. And um, yeah, we think that we can really disrupt the, the German retail space next year. We already work with these big, big brands. Um, Edeka and Rewe, for example, have over 14,000 supermarkets in Germany. So 450 is uh, not even 10% not even of them. So there's still some, some great potential in all of these brands. And we have some promising uh, talks with all of them. And I think what we started with was just single products, um, as you can see with Manomasa, because it was really easy to get them into the shelves. Um, what we are doing right now in January is to get out our brand in retail to really um, establish us as the first guys for trends in food. So, um, yeah, this is our healthy display where we uh, selected some of our brands from our health food edition. And, of course, our third step would be to really analyze the trends and, and see what has the big potential and do it with our own brand. So to become one of the kettles or the innocents, uh, as you saw at the beginning. So, yeah, that, was, that is our vision for, for the wholesale distribution part. And uh, I think what, what we solve right now for the supermarkets is that 90% um, uh, of new products fail in retail. So we tell every supermarket our products are always part of the other 10%. So um, because we gather around four, uh, 2,000 feedbacks per month um, from every consumer uh, for the box, and um, yeah, this helps uh, to analyze the data. We also analyze global market trends and combine them together and see what has the potential to be the next category killer, like Manomasa and tortilla chips, or uh, proper corn with popcorn, for example. 
So where do we see future growth? Um, I think Alex tol uh, talked about subscription at the beginning. Um, I think um, if, you if you see the company right now, um, most of it is, of course, subscription because it is our uh, first business idea, basically. But we see some great potential in, in other markets like the Netherlands. But we also see some great potential in wholesale because, um, as you saw, most of these brands have some substantial revenue themselves. And we already, with Manawasa, for example, we already do uh, about a run rate of 200,000 euros for, for, for this month. So I think it has some great potential uh, to go into the millions next year. To wrap it up, um, I think what, is our what are our next uh, tasks? So to find a financing round, of course. Um, we want to um, go more into the infrastructure. So we started with a personalization engine, um, just a beta test in November, where we give the people more personalized box. Before, it was just one box for all. Um, of course, internationalize the technology. Uh, and also, of course, mainly into revenue. So. 50% would go into subscription, that would be TV, internationalization and the uh, German market, of course, but also into distribution. We want to have a real good sales force right now. Um, we, we just started with uh, about three or four people that cover the whole part of Germany, but um, in terms of scaling, you need a few more and do some B2B marketing as well. Yeah, that's uh, Foodist. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I can only encourage you, go to their booth and check out what they have in store. If you don't try it, you are missing out on something great. I tried this stuff before, and it's amazing. It's, it's things you've never eaten before, and it's really, it's really good. So do that. Um, so the next startup is... Um, tackles a very boring market in a very smart way. And it's, again, it's about insurances, uh, but about pension in, uh, in more detail. And um, I don't want to cover it because uh, basically the guy who would do it now can do it in much more detail. He knows everything about insurances and uh, it will also be a fun presentation. So uh, look forward to it, Alex of Fair.de. Okay, um, thank you Jens on multiple accounts. First, for killing my punchline that we are boring. Um, second, um, for again stating we are an insurance, we are not. So that being said, um, well there's the warning sign, it's about pensions, so this will be boring. The thing is, we're a fintech startup, we don't do payments, we don't do fancy algorithms or whatever. What we do, I mean okay, there's, well, there's the vision. Um, no joke, we want to be your pension for all of you. That's the simple full stop message we want to give you. We are the FinTech startup of the year and now since like two days ago, the website of the year 2015. Let's hope that helps to actually make you think about pensions no, because nobody does it. I tell you why. We all know Angie. Most of us know Gerd. But only few know Walt and Bert, the advisors to Gerd, about these guys. These guys is us. Maybe not now, but a small time machine or um, more YOLO. And then we look like this and we face a big problem, our gap. Not so much the visible one, maybe also, but in our pensions. The thing with this pension gap is you have to close it. And until now, the solution looked more like that. <laughs> Funny enough, because if you really see it, there is a gap for him as well. But wait, the problem is that's the perceived solution, and then customers open the newspaper and they see things like that. You remember Walt and Bert, Jesse Pinkman and Walter White of pensions in Germany, together with the gap. What people then do is total refusal. No more trust in the whole industry, no awareness of their problems. I mean, we all face the gap and you know, we're still partying with the gap coming towards us. We don't do anything, so we don't find a solution. Enter the boring part now, what we do. 
we establish things that bring back exactly the features you need to tackle these three problem dimensions. Trust you get through good products and transparency. That was the first decision why we built our own. So we don't sell existing products, we really build our own pension products. This could be actually much fun, I believe me. Um, second thing, we help people getting aware of their financial situation. So, I mean, if I ask you how, how large your gap is, 99% don't have any clue, actually. Um, and then, in the end, I mean, it's nice to know that, uh, you know, you have a gap, but the problem is you have to, to actually close it. That's where the user experience comes in, blah, 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 painkiller solutions and so on. Final message, you save a lot of taxes when you do all that. And the idea is that you get the double, I the, the double benefit of saving taxes by saving for your retirement. Simple as that. How we do it? First, we um, set on the, deadly the deadest horse in Germany, the Riester Rente. It's a very dead horse, but there's 16 million riders on this horse. We want to make this horse jump again. Um, this is actually what the TV campaign will also be about. So we re really help those 16 million people that they actually get something from their Riester by switching to us, obviously. Just uh, three hours ago, we started the Ferrurup. So for those of you who want to save, um, let me think, five digit taxes this year, no joke, you have 10 days left to sign up. The fees are low, you can uh, choose your assets and so on. Just check it out. I if it doesn't explain itself, please tell me. Next year, we will launch the corporate pensions. If somebody's interested, there's a guy who can actually explain you how it works. And um, mid of next year, we will put all of that together in the cockpit. So we're not, not only offering products anymore, but a solution. Like, I mean, you can choose all of these products single as a solution, but it would be better to combine them. Why do we do it? Christopher said the same thing, more or less. Um, the insurance market is huge. If people ask about internationalization, we always answer, yeah, we could after we entered the 1.4 trillion in Germany. Um, how we make money? 25 basis points, more or less, um, on the assets we manage in Riester and Rurup, and a flat fee per employee on the company pensions. It goes well. As you see, it still goes more or less polynomial. We will enter exponential phase together with Pro7. Um, somebody forgot to put the numbers. But what's funny is actually you see the jumps in the gray line. That's the assets we manage. The jumps are because if somebody transfers money from old providers, it takes three months. So you can really see how this line is already kind of exponential because we get a lot of dead assets from the dead horses. That's good. Last week, or no, no, it's, it's, it's some weeks ago, um, a customer called, it's no joke, it's a, a DJ and, and book author, it's uh, well known, it's like our VIP customer, he just called to say, no joke, I mean the sentence, if Steve Jobs had developed a pension product, that's what it would look like. Yeah, well, this is the obvious thing where we stand uh, on the top right corner compared to the competition. And um, how do we do that? Well, the thing is, we don't only market it, but we get picked up. We don't want to push it. The people shouldn't be sold the product, but they should want to buy it. So the press gets it, the press you know, talks about us, we have the Dropbox style referral program, and we really want to be in the thought leadership as well. So we speak with the parliament, we speak you know, with uh, the legislators and so on, because I mean, this, it's important to really get, get it to the position of a pension solution and not only a product marketplace. Our partners, a uh, hundred year old bank in Hamburg and a very innovative insurance company in Göttingen. Um, they are actually the providers of the product. So if we go bust, who cares? But that's not the idea. Um, and we have Prozim and they will make sure that we don't go bust. That's us. Funny enough, I'm not the guy on the left. I'm the guy in the middle. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's like girls living together in the flat when, you know, they harmonize their period. So now Jens <laughs> looks like me and I look like Jens. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, long story short, Jens is an ex-trader, especially gas, um, and uh, has the financial experience. Ambros, uh, the guy on the right side, who's actually also looking quite close to me now. Um, had like 
has a lot of experience in online marketing, especially for financial products. And uh, I usually worked in science, but in the end, building a financial product is the same as building something tangible. Next steps, I told you, Ferrurup, we can check this one, thank you guys, um, by today. And uh, we will now launch the year-end campaign for you all to save a lot of taxes if you go to FairDE with double R. Um, and next year, I told you, corporate pensions TV campaign and then putting it all together in one solution. Future, nobody knows. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, now it's time for our, um, I would say, most international team um, uh, with a German website, but uh, very few people that work for the company are actually German. Um, come from all over the world, Italy, the Netherlands, Austria, and Brazil. So now uh, I would say comes our Brazilian stallion, uh, Carlos. Well, thanks a lot, Jens, for the uh, very warm, um, let's say, introduction of the team. Indeed, it's a very international team. Everybody's here today, so you can also spend some time talking to us uh, after the presentation. So as Jens said, uh, my name is Carlos from Brazil, uh, CEO and founder of Trip Rebel. And I'm basically here today to tell you why Trip Rebel was selected by the European Commission as the best European startup of 2015. We built the smartest way for you to book your next hotel. But why the hell does the world need a new hotel booking website, really? There are so many out there. But once you start looking at the data, look at data that Google provides, for example, you see that the average traveler, like you and me, still needs five hours to book a simple hotel. I mean, five hours is a lot of time, it's crazy. But out of these five hours, they didn't just need one hour to find a hotel they like. But they don't book. They waste another four full hours looking for alternatives, cross-checking, comparing, trying to make sure they're getting the best deal. But I have some bad news here. Look at this thing. 80% of them fail in getting the best deal, like the poor puppy here. And that's really sad, and we want to change that, right? And if you look why, I mean, you see, like the best portals we have out there to do to help the consumers, like Trivago, like Kayak, they're great, but they just show you the best prices available in the moment of your search. They basically make a snapshot of the market. But markets are not like a snapshot, they're more like a movie. Things change, prices will go up, prices will go down. We record a movie and we make sure whenever the price go down, we get that for you. And I will show you with one example how that works. So I'm planning a trip with my girlfriend, okay, actually now PNC, to Paris, very romantic. So I go to triprevel.com, start a search, pick up the destination, the dates, click on search. Now I get a list of all hotels available in Paris. I can go through them and select the ones I like to a art of favorite list. So these two ones are really nice. This one also quite cool. Let's take another look. This one also really quite nice. So basically I'm like selecting, shortlisting things that I find interesting. Now let's take a closer look at one of these. It's very central. I like the photos. The amenities are there that I'm looking for. The price is also within my budget. So let's just book it. Now I have a guaranteed room at this star three star hotel here. That's where all other providers stop. But Trip Rebel, now things get really exciting. So because after the booking, we search for better rates of all these four hotels every single day until the check-in. Once prices drop in the market, two scenarios are possible. The first scenario is when the hotel that I booked reduced its prices. Now Trip Rebel cancel my old reservation, get me the cheaper rate, and refunds the difference to my credit card. I don't need to do a thing. I just save money out of the blue as a consumer. This is great. This is the first case, but the second one is the one that I like the most. I also had more expensive hotels in my favorite list. Once their price drops within my budget, Tribrav recommends me and I can upgrade with one click. So instead of staying in a room like this, which is nice but it's rather small, I end up in a spacious room like this with a nice view to the Eiffel Tower. And remember, so I'm engaged, I'm going for my fiancé there, right? I'm not only saving time and money, but getting a room with benefits. 
And that's, of course, a very big selling point for our product. But now, um, joke by side, this is what we're seeing here is not an exception, it's the rule. Our algorithm can find price reductions for up to 86% of the bookings. And that's one of the reasons where it was selected by the Wall Street Journal as a startup of the week. That's great, but now it's time actually for the whole of Germany to get to know Trip Rebel. That's why we're starting together with Prozimus at Eins a campaign, a TV campaign from January 1 onwards. And I'm very happy to be here today to present you a premiere of our TV spot that I'd like to play right now. So take a look and enjoy it. Bei Trip Rebel ein Hotel gebucht. Urlaubsstimmung steigt. Was kann dir da noch die Laune verderben? Dein Chef, zu kleines Handgepäck. Deine Mutter auf Tinder. Was rettet da die Stimmung? Geld zurückbekommen, weil dein Zimmer günstiger geworden ist. Hotelpreise gehen ständig rauf und runter. Trip Rebel behält das für dich im Blick und wenn es günstiger wird, bekommst du Geld zurück. Sogar nach deiner Buchung. TripRebel.de. Erst buchen, dann besser. Thanks a lot. So we are really very proud of this, of this TV spot, not only because it looks great, but we also believe that it will help us further drive our growth momentum. We've been growing at 147% per quarter and of course looking to expand this growth rate for the next months to come together with the help of Prozimus at Heinz. But that's actually only the beginning. If you think about it, most of the travel products are bought in advance. So basic consumers make a purchase decision one day and then travel just weeks later, right? Without Trip Rebel, this time in between is lost. But Trip Rebel uses this time to go out there and buy the right product at the right moment. So think about us less as an e-commerce shop or a travel shop and more like a personal shopper. So the opportunities here are huge. It's not only about hotels, but also about flights, car rentals, and even activities at the destination. So expect more to come from Trip Rebel in the future. But before I go, I have a last thing for you. We have a table down there after the presentations. We'd love if you come to talk to us because beyond all that, we have the best argument of the day. We have cookies. Thank you very much and keep rebelling. Thank you, Carlos. And um, with the remark of having cookies uh, and you know foresight that's important for us as investors, um, you can also envision that after the Christmas period, um, a lot of people will be unhappy about the weight they've put on over the Christmas break. And, um, well, of course, we wouldn't be the Posimza 1 Accelerator if we didn't have a solution for that. Um, and so to stay international, uh, please welcome Laurent, who will present to you Kokimi. Thank you, Jens. 80% of the women would like to look like Giselle, but only a few will succeed to lose weight. The diet market is huge. It's 27 billion euro in Germany alone, um, but the industry is failing completely to deliver. Why is that? Customers face four major problems when they want to lose weight. The first one is most diet food doesn't taste. Second, people are trying to cook themselves, but it takes too much time and too much energy. Third one is uh, even if, if they manage to lose weight, most of the diet program are not healthy. And the fourth is they feel alone, left alone, and uh, they, they need support, but they couldn't find it. Uh, only if you have a lot of time, you can attend meetings at Weight Watchers uh, four times a month, but otherwise there are no many solutions. Wouldn't it be cool to have a diet program that's tasty, that's healthy and uh, easy? That's what Cooking Me is doing. We develop and market a diet program based on ready-to-eat meals that are delivered to your home. So, and we want to be the leading diet food brand 
that combines conveniency and freshness. How do we do that? First, the recipes. We have developed recipes that are both a mix of German traditional meals and Asian fusion meals. The consumers that want to lose weight, um, they need to be reassured. They, they fear that they will be hungry, that it doesn't taste, etc. So we have a lot of traditional German meals. The other part is once they have tried kukimi, they are reassured, they are ready to adventure a bit more and try new taste, and Asian food is, b uh, is, is, is very healthy, so uh, that's what we offer. The second thing is our production is sous vide technology. Has uh, any one of you eaten in a four or five star hotel recently? Can you raise your hand? Yeah, the chances are great that you know already what sous vide cooking technology because in the top gastronomy it's very common to, to, to use this, this method. Basically, for the other, uh, you pack the food is a pouch in a pouch, you vacuum it, and then you can cook at very low temperature for several hours anything. There are major benefits to this way of, of uh, producing First one, it's extremely tasty because the aromas were kept in the pouch. When you open, it really, uh, the, the, the taste is very intensive. The second one is it stays fresh longer. Meat can stay fresh for five days, uh, vegetables for 10 days, rice even for longer. So you don't need any preservatives because of the vacuum. Um, and uh, the s the it's for the consumer, in the end, it's also very easy to regenerate. They get a pouch, and they just need water to warm it up. Our consumer gets once a week a parcel with seven meals. And as I said before, they just need to put these meals 10 minutes in hot water, and they have a perfectly healthy, tasty, and yummy meal. Uh, regarding the production, we have identified two companies in Europe that are able to produce the quality we want. And we have an exclusive agreement with the one that is based in Germany. We are the only company, probably worldwide, to use sous vide cooking for a diet program. So, that's our bestseller. It's a sweet potato curry. It's a vegan meal. Like all our meals, it's less than 450 kilocalorie. And I can assure you, it's very good. This is how it looks when a consumer gets a parcel from Kukimi. They have these seven meals in their fridge and they can eat each one of them, they can choose when they want to eat uh, the Swiss kartoffel zucchini or the fish roulade. They are completely free uh, to decide what they eat tonight or, or for, for, for dinner. Interesting thing is, it's worked. I mean, we had f more than 500% growth in the last four months. Um, we have served 40,000, more than 40,000 meals this year. So we see that there is a huge demand for this freshness and convenience product. Uh, what's also interesting, we only need 50 orders a day to break even. And to make sure that we will reach this very soon, we also will have a TV spot next year, and uh, it's currently being shot in South Africa. Um, and we are very excited about this. We are sure that it will sustain our, our rapid growth. And at the same time, we are starting a cooperation with Brigitte. Uh, Brigitte is a lead, leading women's magazines in, in Germany. Um, they have a very, very famous diet. And for the first time, the readers of Brigitte will be able to get their diet by Kukimi. So who is behind Kukimi? My name is Laurent Kessley. I'm the co-founder of Kukimi. 
I'm in charge of business development and uh, the operation. My partner is Daniel Ferst, is uh, responsible for finance and marketing. We also have Leah. Uh, she is the one that develop all the recipe and make sure that we have a fantastic production. Uh, in our team, we are now eight people. There are also someone in the logistic, of course, for communication, social media, and um, uh, also we have a few investors um, that support us. HTGF is one of them. Uh, the family office of Louis Vuitton, Wet NSC, and is another one, Atlantic Internet has been a very early supporter. We have Peter Schubach in Switzerland, a serial entrepreneur, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, we will look next year forward to finding uh, new investors. Thank you very much. And don't forget, you can try the five-star quality of Kukimi uh, in the next room. Thank you. So, uh, thank you very much, Laurent. And um, yeah, with these uh, presentations, you're basically gonna have a brief overview of our current batch. Uh, so now is the time basically to interact with the founders, to check out the products. So go outside, eat Kokimi food, um, try out foodist uh, products, uh, get the cookies from Trip Rebel, uh, talk to the fair guys and uh, get your pension sorted and check out how fast it's, uh, it really is to sign up on Clark.de. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, have a drink, uh, enjoy yourselves and talk to everyone else. Thank you very much. <laughs>